What is Critical Criminology, or Neo-Marxism? Introduction Critical Criminology, or Neo-Marxism, is less deterministic than traditional Marxism. It regards crime as a conscious, meaningful choice, very often with a political motive. Critical criminology brings elements of labeling theory and Marxism into a fully social theory of deviance. The New Criminology In 1973, Taylor, Walton, and Young wrote The New Criminology, which produced the most important neo-Marxist contribution to our understanding of crime and deviance. Taylor, et al., shares similar elements with traditional Marxists. For example, capitalist society is based on class conflict and exploitation, and the key to understanding crime lies in the extreme social inequalities of power and wealth. The interest of the capitalist class is protected by the state via favorable laws and by criminalizing the working classes. And crime might be entirely removed if capitalism was replaced by a classless society. Theory and Method The new criminology combines structuralist Marxism with aspects of social action theory. This means that people experience and interpret their world and make choices as to how they should react. Anti-determinism and Voluntaristic View Neo-Marxists are critical of traditional Marxism as it is too deterministic. Traditional Marxists see the working class as passive victims of capitalism who cannot help but to commit crimes. Neo-Marxists also reject theories that claim that crime is caused by, for example, subcultures, labeling, anomy, or psychological or biological factors. Instead, they are voluntaristic. This is the opposite of determinism. This means, they argue, that individuals have free will. As a result, Members of ethnic minority groups and the working class experience the constraints of capitalism but are then able to make choices about how they should react to such an experience. This means they are not passive puppets where capitalism shapes their behavior beyond their control. Key Point Crime is a deliberate and meaningful political response by the powerless to their position within the capitalist system, according to neo-Marxist perspective. The powerless and the poor commit crime as a means of protest against alienation, exploitation, and injustice. For example, crimes against property, like burglary, are a protest to wealth inequality. A Fully Social Theory of Deviance This is a complete understanding of crime and deviance that would help to improve society. This theory is made up from two main strands of sociology. 1. Theories from labeling theory and interactionism about society's reaction to the deviant act, the effects of the deviant label on the person, and about the meaning of the deviant act for the individual. And 2. Traditional Marxist thinking around the unequal distribution of wealth and who has the power to create and enforce the law. Marxist Subcultural Theory Certain Marxist theories have investigated working class deviants or spectacular youth subcultures such as ravers in the 1980s and 1990s, punks in the late 1970s, skinheads in the 1970s, mods and rockers in the 1960s, and teddy boys in the 1950s. These sociologists suggest that these youth subcultures can be seen as a form of ideological resistance to the dominant adult value system shaped by middle class and capitalist values. Key Study Marxist Subcultural Theories The Birmingham Center for Contemporary Cultural Studies, or CCCS, states that the youth subculture styles should be regarded as a challenge to the class inequality that makes up capitalist society. As an example, Phil Cohen, 1972, investigated skinheads in the 1970s and suggested that the style was a symbolic reaction to the decline of working-class communities. Skinheads' dress code augmented working-class masculinity and aggression. Their anti-immigrant ideas were, according to Cohen, a reaction to the decline of the white working-class surroundings. 
Hebdige, 1979, investigated the meanings by the style of punk rockers in the late 1970s. He argued that this subcultural group wanted to deliberately shock society and the establishment by taking on the style of reused everyday objects like safety pins and bin liners, as well as deviant symbols such as sexual bondage gear and the swastika. This style was created to symbolically resist the dominant culture values of the British society in the late 1970s. Hebdige also realized that capitalist society rises to these types of challenges to its cultural dominance. As a result, youth subcultures such as punks and others are often short-lived because of incorporation. This occurs when capitalism commercializes aspects of youth cultural style, which strips them of their ideological importance, making them into just another consumer product. Evaluation the CCCS examined skinhead punk subculture, but also teddy boys as well as mods and rockers. Although they came to similar conclusions as above, these different subcultural groups and their ideas are supported by little empirical evidence. Burke, 2005, states that new criminology and Marxism are too idealistic to deal with it practically and too broad to explain crime. Neo Marxists fail to explain the political motive underpinning crimes like child abuse, rape, and domestic violence. Neo-Marxists have been criticized for over-romanticizing working-class criminals like Robin Hoods who rebel against the capitalist society by taking from the rich and providing for the poor. Taylor et al. do not take the effects of crime seriously. For example, failing to see that most victims of working-class crimes committed by ethnic minority groups are themselves working-class or from ethnic minority groups. Marxist subcultural theory neglects gender and ethnicity as influences on youth subculture. And Marxist subcultural theory also neglects globalization, especially in the form of American cultural influences. Summary Crime is inevitable in capitalist society, according to traditional Marxists. This is because it breeds greed, competition, and poverty. All social classes commit crime, but because the ruling elite control the state and make and enforce the laws for their own interests, this means that capitalist society criminalizes the working class. Capitalism is given a caring face as the law performs an ideological function by protecting its creator. Neo-Marxism, or critical criminology, is less deterministic compared to traditional Marxism, which overpredicts working-class crime. Neo-Marxism regards crime as a conscious, meaningful choice with a political motive. <laughs>